Hello po. This is the last practice exercise for lesson number one, which is concerned on solving and introduction of literal equations. But for items here in practice exercise C, we are going to include many our different processes to come up with our intended variable. So we are going to apply um, concepts or concerns on practice exercise A and practice exercise B and even the other properties of equality. So you might want to review the other videos as part of the preparation here. So in number one, this is the formula for the pressure. Pressure is equal to the quotient of force over area. But here we are going to solve for area. Okay, how do we solve for area here? Take note that our expression here is actually already here as a quotient, not any not a uh what do you call that not a uh product of force and a. So you might say, ah sir, I could divide both sides by f. I could remove that. I also divide this by f. So I have P over F is equal to A. I will apply symmetric properties here. A is equal to P over F. You might do this, but I'm going to caution you. This is an incorrect process. Why? Because when you look at the given, A is found in at the denominator of a rational expression F over A. So if you're going to remo remove f here by dividing both sides by f, a here st will still appear as part of a denominator, not as a expression or coefficient without uh, without, uh, without a or a, a, that is equivalent to probably a whole of the variable. So this is actually incorrect. So how do we do this? If the intended variable is found in a denominator, what we need to do here is first, we can apply an operation so that A will become a part of an expression found in a numerator or an expression not found in a denominator. So to do this, we could simply first remove A here. Sir, why do I need to remove A? If I'm going to remove A, does it mean I will multiply A here and this could be canceled out? Isn't it a problem? Because I'm looking for A and A now is not anymore to, is not anymore to be found here. Well, not worry about that because if we are going to multiply both, both sides by A so that we could remove A here, I will, we are going to multiply the same value on the other side because that's what the properties of equality tell us. Yes, the coefficient he, A here, or for the area, disappears in your right-hand side, but it will actually appear on your left-hand side because you actually multiplied both sides by the same expression. So once that you have removed that, this is now become AP is equal to F, is equal to F, simply F. Right? So no a, a variable here, but A is already found on the left-hand side. This is the time that you can now divide both sides by P, not F, so that A will retain, be retained here, also divided here. So this is actually equal to A is equal to F over P, not the P over F we have tried earlier. So again, this is a different process. This might be a different process because our intended variable is found in denominator. But rest assured that when you're just going to apply the correct properties of equality A, the intended variable will still appear not anymore on that side, but probably on the other side of the equation. Right? So this is the result for number one. For number two, we are now going to look at the value or the equivalent expression for this literal equation we're in, we are looking for m, not for y anymore. So to do this one, let us not jump into conclusion and in saying, I will divide both sides by x, sir, so I could remove that, okay? And I will come up here with 
y is equal to x, uh, y over x is equal to m plus b. This is again another incorrect processes, an incorrect process. Uh, don't worry, I am giving you the possible uh, process that you may come up with, but they are misconceptions so that you will actually be guided not to do these things. Again, you cannot divide both sides by x. For what reason, sir? Look at the expression on the right hand side. We have two terms here. This is a binomial. And this, the two terms are separated by addition, as I have mentioned in the previous video in practice exercise B. If ever your x, your coefficients are separated by either subtraction or addition, you cannot just um, uh, automatically divide both sides. You just need, you may need to apply another step before you could you could divide both sides. And what is that step? We are going to look for m. So we are going to remove x or b in, a, in an arrangement, in the correct arrangement. So we are not going to remove x first. Let us remove b, which is farther to m than x. And to remove b, consider the sign of b or the coefficient of b here. A numerical coefficient of b, which is 1, a positive 1. So to do that, we are going to subtract b in this side. So that b minus b will become 0. And when you subtract there, don't forget to also subtract in this side. Now that this again, this becomes 0, you will have the expression y minus b is equal to mx. Since we are looking for m, and we, only have, we, we now have the expressions m and x here separated by multiplication, this is the time that you can now divide x to remove that. No other items here that will actually make it incorrect, only m and x. So you can freely divide both sides. Divide both sides, saying divide x here. You also divide here x, not just y, not just b, not both of them. You may come up with this expression, Others may come up with this expression as long as both sides will have x. I will rather say all of the, the binomial, or the, the binomial itself. So we have here the expression y minus b is equal to uh, over x rather, sorry for that, is equal to m. And applying the symmetric property, you will have m is equal to y over b. Uh, y, sorry, right? y minus b all over x. So this is now the equivalent expression for this literal equation, which is actually, I forgot to mention, this is a slope intercept form. You might uh, encounter them uh, in your grade 8 level. So out from this slope intercept form, we're going to solve for m, which is actually the slope. And the slope is actually equal to y minus b all over x. For number three, we take note that we have here a, a fractional coefficient. All, all of the uh, coefficients here on the right-hand side are separated by multiplication. And we have here an exponentiation. This is the formula, if I'm correct, for the kinetic energy. Okay, it's Supposedly, my, this is noted as Ke, but to remove a, po a possible mis um, confusion on what is K and what is E, let's just use simply K. Pardon for that. Sorry for that for uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the science of physics instructors if I'm going to use only K. Just for illustration. Lang po. So to do this, we're going to solve for V. Do not say I will square out both sides, sir. Because V here it has a exponent of 2. So that this will become simply V. Do not do that yet. You just need to make sure that this side will only contain V squared before you could do that. So to do to the first step here is to come up with an expression wherein the one half first will be removed. By the way, for some of you who are advanced, you may remove one half and m at the same time. But I'm just doing this for general, uh, for in general, for uh, which is true to all those who have understood it this now and those who might have problems. So let us not um, 
combine the two methods at once. Let's just do it step by step. The first thing here is to remove the one half. This is similar to item number one earlier, wherein we actually multiplied both sides by A so that there will be no more fractions here. To do that, let's see, multiply both sides by two. I also multiply two here so that I could remove that and this one. Do not remove this two here because this is an exponent, not a coefficient. Next, you will have the expression 2k, that's capital letter, is equal to m v squared. Next is to remove m by dividing both sides by m. Cancel that out. This one. So the next expression is 2k. 2k, that's capital letter, over m is equal to v squared. We might apply here the symmetric property and say v squared is equal to 2k all over m. And since we're looking for v, not v squared, this is now the right time that you could apply the principal root. Why is at this point? Because you're only assured, you're already assured that this side only contains uh, the variable v and it will not affect any of the variable on this side because of the, all of the var var variables now appear on the right hand side. So by doing that, your, your final expression is v is equal to the square root of 2k over m. This is now the equivalent expression for this literal equation when we're looking for v instead of the kinetic energy k. Again, for disclaimer, this should be ke, but I just use simply, I only use k uh, just for an illustration for uh, the processes. Pardon, Paul. And number four is a unique formula I have made. Right? Some of you might, uh, might relate on this one. Uh, this is actually a formula that you could actually message to your x. Stop letting x natin yung past relationship no. You can all actually comment this to your past relationship. And what is that? Let's find out. The result here for x would be your message to your past relationship. And what would be that? First, you have here this expression ux over m is equal to i. We are going to solve for x. So let us remove this first. It's similar to here, the fractional forms were removed first. To remove that m at the bottom, Let's multiply m, both sides. Cancel that out. And you will have ux is equal to i and m. And finally, to solve for x, you will have, you're going to divide both sides by u. Okay. And the res to cancel this out, as I've mentioned earlier, the resulting uh, expression here for x is your message to your past relationship. So, so relate lang, okay? This will become x is equal to i m over u. So again, from this expression, we have come up with the message to your x. Correctly, it states that x is equal to i m over u. I repeat, i m over you just a play of letters okay so if you have if you get that message that's good and why is it that i have, I have presented this uh, unique uh, expression here is just to point out that you can make your own uh, literal equation you might say i will make sir the first letter of my name let's use my name l plus my middle name plus s and then the last letter of my name. Yeah. So this will be Lester Lu B Sigumpat. Okay. The first letter of my name, uh, the first letter of my middle name is equal to the first letter of my, my last name and then a surname and then the last letter of it. So I then solve for N, solve for B, solve for L. You can actually make your own literal equations or look for the formulas found in other subject areas such as in the physics and chemistry in higher mathematics and to try it so the, uh, higher, higher, mathematics, uh, higher mathematics just like in geometry statistics calculus etc even in other subjects uh, subject areas to apply the, the solving process 
as a practice. So again, the point here of share number four is just to, again, allow us to realize that you can make your own literal equation and solve it. So this is how we do the items in practice exercise C. So this wraps up the topic on literal equations. So please review your module, review all the practice exercises, rewatch this video, and practice answering on your own. Goodbye.